we're getting down to brass tacks now. Uh, I've got the wire for the tactometer and it's going to be on the left side of the scoot here. I've got it ran over the edge here. I'm going to make a U cut out here and put a grommet in there uh, when it comes time. But uh, I've got my wires ran down through here and then they come underneath. Comes back behind the ignition or the key turnstile there. And then I'm running it all on the wire harness. Fished it in there, fished it in there, ran underneath this tube here, and then back up. And there it's around the uh, ignition coil. Uh, I've wrapped it around there about 10 times. It says uh, for lower powered uh, things, you could usually wrap a three to five, but it could take up to 10. It didn't say anything about being over 10. So what I'm gonna do is uh, tape this off with electrical tape, uh, hook the CDI back up, hook the battery back up temporarily, and start this thing up and see what it measures. Okay, so I got it started, and it's running at 2850. So I think I got it to set the default from one to two to make it correct. According to the service manual, the idle for the 150 is 1700 plus or minus so maybe I'll get that uh, get her warmed up and let it let the idle drop down and uh, we'll see where it's at it may be set correctly I've removed the crush washer from the spark plug here's the new one to show you what it looks like with it on there All I did to get it off was take the screwdriver here and put it underneath the edge and just keep turning it like that until it pried up far enough and then I was able just to screw it off once I loosened it up. So uh, I've got my wire in and I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, so there's my temperature gauge. Um, it runs. It's going to run over the top here, down in through the handlebars there. And then it comes out right alongside the uh, other wire, the tack wire that I had, and runs along the same route down the side. Pushed it through here, pushed it through there, underneath this tube, underneath this tube here, and out it comes. All right. Here, this will go on the uh, end of the spark plug wire and set inside there to measure the temperature. And there's what it looks like with the uh, wire installed. Okay, everything's installed. The ignition uh, for the RPMs is wrapped around there with electrical tape and it's good. Our other wires coming out from the uh, spark plug. Uh, brought them down and just kind of looped them together and put a couple zip ties on them. Uh, not too tight in case I ever got to uh, nip those off later with a uh, pair of snips so I don't have to worry about cutting the wire and then that'll just tuck down underneath there like that. Wires come up along this edge, and then I put another zip tie up here and ran it halfway loose so I could snip it. And also, instead of doing it down here where it could slide down, I looped it through one of these wires here so it won't go up or down. Uh, so I thought that was a pretty decent idea. And if they go to there, I'll mount them, and then I'll be able to put. Uh, Start putting the plastic back together.